What up guys, Jonathan here with TLD with a quick unboxing tour and demo of the all new Nook tablet from Barnes & Noble. And it has been tablet crazy this week. If only I had a buck for every tablet I picked up, Actually, I'd only have two bucks, so scratch that. Now, if I strictly did the unboxing, this video would be about 30 seconds long. It's pretty bare bones. You get the Nook itself, you get a USB wall charger, which is pretty cool looking, and then you get a Nook branded USB cable, so they do add some flavor to that. Quickly looking at the Nook tablet itself, seven inch display, 1024 by 600 resolution. This is running a dual core one gigahertz processor with a full gig of RAM compared to the 512 megs on both the iPad 2 as well as the Kindle Fire. Now I will say it has one of the most epic unlock screen sounds you will ever see. And quickly before we get into the OS, we got a physical power button, we got the headphone jack, we got a volume up and down which the Kindle Fire does not have. Flipping it down to the back, we got the speaker, and below that is the USB port. So far, I'm digging the physical Nook button. Once you press that, that'll take you to the home, library, shop, search, apps, web, and settings. And then above that, for the normal layout, we have books, newsstand, movies, music, and apps. So far, everything feels extremely zippy, and I'm not knocking the Kindle Fire, but this does feel a little smoother so far. You can see from looking at a quick magazine trial, the screen looks good, scrolling through pages left and right like butter, and so far, so good on that. Jumping over to Netflix, you guys can get an idea of how the video quality looks, and if you guys have not watched Breaking Bad, stop what you're doing. Well, actually, don't stop watching this video, but after you're done, go check that out, because it is amazing. And the last thing we're going to look at is Angry Birds for the Nook tablet, so you guys can see it runs extremely smooth. This will actually give you an idea of how well the speakers work, which are pretty loud. And I gotta say, so far, just from my first impressions, I am enjoying this more than the Kindle Fire. I will be testing both out extensively, so look out for both reviews and a comparison. Aside from that, make sure to check out our latest two videos. If you guys are feeling like being awesome, hit that like button. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys later.